At this point, I guess everyone sits and looks at what is the body language, what's likely to come out. A lot of what is said in court often does not go into the actual judgment. So what's in the actual judgment uh, is not something we'll know until it is delivered. But um, when you take a look at some of what is being discussed around the entire question, obviously there seems to be a certain amount of sympathy on questions like dignity and respect and uh, how people should be treated in a, in a sensitive manner. Other questions are around what can happen technically, what should be left to Parliament, what happens to the specific nitty-gritties of succession and adoption and what happens legally to that and what the Supreme Court can, can say. So, when you're expecting, what are you expecting out of this? Is it basically the question of respect that should somehow be addressed? Yes, absolutely, because it's always been a question of dignity for the community. Um, you know, very often people... You know, there was a discussion in the in at some point uh, between the the chief justice and uh, the solicitor general, and they were thinking about some you know giving some kinds of rights, perhaps uh, in terms of pensions, uh, gratuities, um, and they were trying to explore what to what extent the government could step in, uh, and I think. Uh, while something like that would be great, of course, I think it leaves out the question of dignity that marriage grants to all citizens who, you know, ask for that right in India. And so dignity is very central uh, to, to, our, to our demands of the Supreme Court. Okay, Shopin Das Gupta, let's just look at two specific things. That, for example, the petitioners and others you've been speaking to are saying, number one, it's a first and foremost a question of dignity. So allow something to happen that allows us to live with basic dignity. That, that's part A. Part B, yes, help us in dealing with some of the issues that come around our lives. Issues of inheritance and succession and all those many, many complicated issues that require a practical solution. Which, for example, is something that the Central Committee could be helpful with. It could try and find a practical answer to those practical issues. But if the judgment comes which says, give this, these particular communities a certain sense of dignity to people who want to be in some sort of a union and want to live in a union with dignity, would there be a problem with that? No, I have no proper problem with that. As I said, a civil partnership, anything which says that these are two, we, we, we shall treat these two individuals as an item, as a couple, whatever you, what um, you want to call you, you can use any... How about spouse? Any, any sort of uh, terms for it. Uh, but, but, but the important thing, thing is marriage. You know, the definition, whether, whether we should call it a marriage. You can call it a civil partnership. You can call it a partnership. I have absolutely... And the question of dignity, I believe, is right. They deserve. that. that that's a particular lifestyle they've chosen, that, that's a life choice they've made, and they deserve to uh, be respected for that, because they've made it consciously. Now, whether the rest of society agrees with them, we, we cannot outlaw prejudice, you un understand that. So there will be prejudice, but at least there'll be no prejudice, uh, but that prejudice will be tempered by the fact that at least there has been some recognition that this is a legitimate union.